Sweet. <laughs> oh, we're gonna start this recording laughing because I bought me some tequila mix, but no tequila. <laughs> The day before my birthday, but you know, the funny part is I woke up, I still had a hangover. <laughs> I mean, I figured it out after that first wig and I was like, man, this is sweet. No wonder these, you know, and I looked at the bottle and it was like, no alcohol. And I was like, okay, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder it was on sale. <laughs> it was just so funny. So... Something, um, every, you know, we just kind of go by the flow. So today the flow is, we're going to do a meditation in a moment, but why? It does seem like, um, I don't know, Terry, have you been noticing people say, talking about how they were triggered, triggered, triggered? Like I'm just seeing lots of posts about people, you know, saying that how they didn't realize like these old things are popping up and they're triggered and, um, for me, when certain emotional pain comes up or yeah, emotional pain, it triggers pain, physical pain in my body. And so, you know, you might see pictures of people or you might be being surrounded by people that trigger you and they trigger old wounds. And for me, it'll light up in my body. And so it's a time to really observe that and figure out how to get to the root of it and how to solve that problem. Um, and today I'm gonna just ask people to go inside themselves and ask, what is it that you need? And so I decided to ask Terry for what I need. And I was like, I need a meditation. So what's your thoughts, Terry? What are, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I was wondering what we were going to do because I am thinking, okay, well, I'll be inspired as, as it comes through. But it's interesting that you're saying that about triggers. And I was reading, you know, between the eclipses, because we have another eclipse coming at the end of the, the week, right? And so, but part of the, part of it is to release all of these old patterns. And so we say we're triggered, but we have to look at it and say, Oh, this is a blessing because I've been hanging on to something that's that's bothering me. And I think if we take the time to contemplate and look at it, what was it that triggered me? Was it the person or was it the situation? And then if we look back into our uh, uh, look back over our life, what are the patterns? And a lot of times, what we do is we brush things aside. And oh, I'll deal with it later. And then it just builds and builds and builds. It's like the uh, uh, the closet that never gets clean. And then <laughs> going back to that analogy, you know, one day you, you go into that closet and it's like, I can't find anything in here. It's spilling over. I've really got to clean it. And so that's what a trigger will do is it will just sort of say, it's time to to look at what it is that we've been brushing aside. Why is it that's what's triggered it in us? And so it may be a pattern that we haven't, um, that's been too uncomfortable to deal with. And, and it's uncomfortable to deal with because at the time that the original incident happened, we didn't know. Um, we didn't know how to handle it. And we may have been a little it may be something that's from our, our subconsciousness right a lot of times that's what what these things are is their subconscious patterning and you know when they arise it's because we we just aren't sure how we should deal with it um and i think we are much wiser than we think we are and all we need to do is just spend a little bit of time and just look at it instead of analyzing what so-and-so said and why did they say that why is that what is it about that situation that's got me upset or triggered like even though it might look like it's the current situation that's triggering you that maybe you need to take some steps back to see past relationships childhood 
Like, why do things like this bother you? Like, were you abandoned, feeling abandoned by your friends when you were small or your parents? Or, I mean, I guess that's a big part of what what uh, enhances or affects our adult marriages and relationships and friendships is this deeper problem. Because usually... Maybe if it's a pain that comes, I want to ask you this though. So if it's a pain or something that happened when you're in your adult life, it, you know, if this is when it first happened, is it more likely to scar you as bad as when it was when you were a child? Like maybe yeah. something that happens to you in your adult life, if it's never happened to you as a child, that maybe you get over it quicker or easier than if it had been something that was a part of your formative shaping time? I, I you know, yes, because I think we have the ability to, to deal with it or understand, okay, this happened in, in this situation. Um, but I think part of this is that we are, we are all programmed based on our society based on our family, based on our ancestral lines, there's a certain kind of programming that we have. So even though it may not have arisen when we were at children, it's arisen now. So there's a pattern, there's something in our subconscious that is, is coming to the surface that we need to, um, that we need to deal with. And, and um, you know, if you listen to any of the, you know, spiritual stuff, they say that these things that happen, even they're really uncomfortable, they're a gift because they give us that opportunity to release and let it go. And and it's funny because I decided to take a pull a card from this deck, Energy and Spirit, and guess what the card was? Freedom, moving on and letting go. <laughs> so so it's. It's, oh, hold on. I got the sun coming in here. Um, so I, I think part of this is all about us, you know, like instead of saying this is a bad thing that's happened to me, it's no, this is a good thing that's happened because now I can see what has been holding me back or an aspect that's been holding me back because, I mean, ultimately we're on this journey to, we, you know, we talk about enlightenment and about, you know, ascension to the higher dimensions. Well, we can't ascend to the higher dimensions if we're holding on to, to lower frequencies and, and uh, these things that trigger us, it's a lower frequency that we're holding on to. And so that pattern may have served uh, a third dimensional being, but if we're moving on to something higher, we don't need to, to deal with that stuff. And, and we're not going to be dealing with that stuff because we're moving into a, a space of more of a, of a unity consciousness instead of that me consciousness. It's more about unity as, as all of us. So anything that's self-serving may be coming up right now to be released and saying, hmm, do I, how do I want to go forward in my life? Do I want to hold on to that? type of, of energy or do I want to move into more freedom and more of a, of a unity of a love? Because I mean, if, you know, these are these big buzzwords of like, oh, I love everybody, oh, blah, 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 blah. But meanwhile, they'll turn around and stab you in the back and they, they can talk about all these wonderful things that they're doing, but um, you know, then they'll, then, then people can, you know, turn around and, and, and give you a hard time. And this is the same person who will stand up and say, look at me, how wonderful I am. But then that's not, that's not where we're moving as, as that into that higher perspective. So we have to be able to recognize it and say, hmm, now I have a choice. Do I want to go this way or do I want to go into that, that more unity type of thing? Your your volume's out on Erica. I'm gonna say that if you if you need to light your candle, light your candle. 
if you need to get your crystal and your water, get your crystal and your water. Um, while we're doing this, yeah. So we're just looking at the lineup for the Journey to the Truth Conference in 2024. And girl, I'm going. Hmm. And I'm hoping some of my friends get to go and hang out with me. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting Lyle Johnson. I've been looking at his light work, like his art work. I was, in, I was just looking at his work last night because I'm in a, a group of his and Sherry's going to be a speaker this year. Um, Jerry Willis, man, uh, Vivian Chavez, Laura Eisenhower. Like, this is going to be cool because it looks like all different people speaking this year besides Brad Olson and Tony Rodriguez. It looks like all different new speakers. Yeah. So, mm. spicy, spicy. They moved it off the Yeah. And the Tyler has the nerve to. Oh, no, that's Jim. His dad said, Happy birthday, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> that is a joke, y'all. Young lady. Okay. <laughs> I am young. I'm a child. I, can't, I was uh, making everybody laugh last night, and I'm like, I'm childish. Yes, yeah, that's right. I'm in tune with my inner child. Yeah. And um, that should be enough time. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Hey, I might do, I'm going to do a little bit in the background. But I'm going to just do this every now and then. Give you some. Um, so what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to um, start by just really feeling ourselves in our body by um, closing your eyes and tapping at your heart space and we're going to start by just taking some deep breaths and we're going to do this by taking a count of four hold four and breathe out for four. Just do this a couple of more times. Hold. And out. And one more time. Breathing in. And release in. So just in your mind, I'm going to invite you to just invite your higher aspect, your higher self to join me. And you can, if you put your hand on your heart, it's like you're opening up to that divine higher frequency part of yourself, to your being. And so just invite that out to your in. And you may feel almost like an energy coming in through your crown and coming into your heart. And you may feel a little bit of a, a chill or a warmth or just a, an acknowledgement from your higher self. And this part of you, the higher self, has the ability to see things from a different perspective. It has a higher view of things, and it has the view of, and the ability to see your future path. Now, if there's something that has been triggering you, 
something that's made you feel uncomfortable. It may be a relationship. It may be a situation. But whatever it is, just in your mind, just state to your higher self that you would like some clarity and some understanding with regard to the situation that you're inquiring about. What kind of information or foresight can that aspect of you give regarding that situation? And just sit with a moment. Just allow the information, the thoughts to come in. You may see images, you may have knowings. Just about the situation. And as you receive the information about that particular situation, ask that aspect of yourself how you may resolve it so that it's no longer um, having a hold on you in the same way, whether it's a resolution, whether it's letting go. But ask your higher self, how is the best way for you to proceed so that this situation no longer has a pull on you? Now your guide, your higher self, is just going to give you some words, some understandings that for you to overcome all of these things that may challenge you, you have to acknowledge them and also realize that you have the power within you to release the hold that you feel you may be chained to. They're only patterns, and you have the ability to undo the pattern. to help with releasing and letting go of patterns and to then invite you just to see in your mind's eye a, a pattern almost like a almost like a web and you can help to bring to the web the pattern that's been created. 
what you're going to do is you're going to take that thread and you're going to start to roll it into a little ball. And as you start to roll it into a ball, the pattern is starting to disappear, starting to fall apart. And the ball is getting bigger and the pattern is disappearing. And as the pattern disappears and the ball of thread is filled, you see a burst of light coming from where the pattern was. And that burst of light comes to you and that thread, that ball of thread, Glows into a beautiful rainbow of light. And it falls down all around you, around your aura, to the layers of your body. And you just absorb these lights, these beautiful lights, knowing that that pattern. has now been removed and released. And you've allowed it to let go of holding you back in any way. And now going back to the heart to feel the gratitude For this opportunity to go. Thank you for the guidance and wisdom. Bringing your awareness back to your breathing. Breathing in. Hold. And release. With your next breath, start to feel the awareness in your body, move your shoulders and your neck. And take another breath in. And open your eyes. And welcome back. Any thoughts after that, Terry? Uh, I I love when I do these because I have no idea when I where they're taking me. <laughs> so I just went with that flow and. I hope that for all of you that it um, you were able to um, connect with that aspect of yourself and connect with the situation, but knowing that you have that within you to release things. These are these these are just patterns that we've agreed to, and we have that ability to release those patterns. Um, and make it as simple as you can. People like to make it complicated, but why? Why make it complicated? Make it simple. Make it an easy thing for you to do. Yeah, my thought was um, during the meditation that like the old way is to get triggered, go into protection mode, block, be angry, you know, um, be reactive. And that word came up, reactive. And then I thought, oh, no, that's not that's not even me. You know, but it, it's like you can get used to um, moving yourself through being non-reactive, being forgiving, um, sending out love and, and, and going through the processes. But then sometimes we forget 
the pattern of the new pattern that you built and we go back to the old pattern. And it is funny because I, I thought about that this morning too, like going back, getting back to the basics of these new, the new patterns. What are your supplement routines? Are you drinking water? Are you exercising? Are you grounding? Are you doing the things that you need to do for yourself that will keep you in the right place? And then, you know, um, something pops up, throws you off your, uh, out of your root, your new routine and you have to um, pivot and move. And so, oh, wait a minute, I forgot. This is the new pattern that we're supposed to be working on and get back to that. And which for us now is, oh, I'm not reactive. I'm proactive. I send out light, I meditate, I send love, I, I rise above the uh, frequency of my problems. Now, let's get back to doing that. And instead of, I think people just are getting tired and they're like, triggered, I'm triggered, I'm triggered. <laughs> so it's like they're going back in this mode of, uh, and it, it makes you feel like you're failing and makes you feel like you hadn't progressed and you haven't grown, but you have, you just have to remember the, to, to get back to the, the new way that you've decided to live. And oh, these things, these aren't the biggest problems that I have. This isn't, you know, anything for me to worry about. Let me, I've, I've grown beyond these problems. And now let me set my eyes focused on this new thing, these new possibilities, this new me cleansing out my aura and whatnot and not, because I think that's it. We're just getting to the point where we're starting to focus back on problems like, can you believe this? Can you see this? Did you do that? <laughs> it's like, ah, you know, all of that stuff will, it'll, it'll drown you in a way. If you keep looking at all your problem, all the problems or the apparent, what appears to be problems because it appears to be. So, so I, I I'm just I, I'm having this understanding that when we're in the flow, it's like a, a healer doesn't heal someone. They just are getting into the flow and the energy flows through them. But if we can look at that we are healed, we allow the energy to flow through us. These things are not happening to us. These are energies that, that are stuck. They're, frequent, they're different frequencies. As we walk into it, we're, we're triggered by that frequency. If we can say, wait a minute, this isn't about me, but it's triggering something in me. Um, this is a this is a frequency, and I'm triggered by this particular frequency for whatever reason. But if we can allow the energy to flow through us, then we don't have to be stuck with that frequency. And when we recognize that it's a frequency that is no longer an aspect of us that we want to be a part of, we can just say that. I'm not going to allow that frequency to affect me anymore and just allow yourself to flow through it instead of getting caught in it. It's, it's like, you know, we'll go back to the driving down the interstate <laughs> and stopping for, you know, and then deciding to stay there for a while. You know, are you going to stay in that frequency for a while or you're just going to fill up the gas tank and move on, you know? Uh, it's always up to us, and and if it's serving us for whatever reason, and we feel like we want to really get involved in it, then you can um, look and say, well, why is it that I'm feeling so drawn to getting involved in this situation, and then let go of that pattern. It's all it's all about us moving through and allowing ourselves to um, to move into a higher frequency. And as we do move into these higher frequencies, we're going to be triggered. We're going to run into other frequencies. That's just the nature of the energy around us. So, you know, are we going to play in there or we're just going to let it flow through us? We're, we're going to drive by. We don't have to stop in that anymore. It's just, and it's just a simple, it's, a, it's just our choice. Certainly. 
And I'll end the recording there. Have a great day. Um, and in the group, we'll go ahead and do the individual readings. <laughs>